how did I pay for a ticket here and a ticket to, to Dallas? How did right. you pay for my ride back and forth to court? That part. Because it right. certainly and, didn't come from YouTube donations. And I haven't even mentioned esoteric, but why is esoteric always going after your exits, Jag? I don't know. Well, I, well, technically, Sip is not an ex, but I mean, she I goes after everybody from, you don't have. I guess he suffers from second, um, sloppy second syndrome. <laughs> what I do know is, is this: your cousin is a whack fuck. Your cousin Tume, who ruined Summer Walker's life. Mm -hmm. The CEO of Summer Walker's company, your cousin, he's a sloppy fuck. He's a piece of shit, and he's mad that I blew up his spot about Summer. Interesting that it's you who created a whole YouTube page that's dedicated to destroying my character, and you decided to run after everything that I've ever looked at. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us how he ruined Summer Walker, too? Summer Walker has been being handled for years. He was a part of her mm. management team. They allowed all kinds of shit, and then they sent her down there to fucking Erica Badu's house to be cast spells on shit, singing about graves and shit. Letting that woman give birth to the, birth her babies and keep all of that placenta. Oh, she kept the placenta? That's what she does. Oh, fuck. Mm. Ain't nobody ever thought, ain't nobody ever asked what she does with all them umbilical cords and all that placenta from birthing Tiana Taylor's babies. Oh, Illuminati babies. Summer Walker's babies. Oh, Illuminati babies. It's a damn shame. Two May in fact. Let her get around them. They ain't been right ever since. Damn. Mm. And now it makes sense why Esoteric has like came out of nowhere on YouTube because it's all like, it. who was this lady? Wouldn't be surprised if it was her cousin that gave her the money that she gave to not not. Oh, the alleged twenty thousand. Well, he clarified and said that she did not give him twenty thousand. Yeah, that was the play. She said she did. Oh, she's still claiming that she did. She said it to me six months ago. It was on the recording that I released earlier today. Mm -hmm. The one with her very horse face picture. You know, it's so funny. Your family send you in to be a Trojan horse and you actually look like a Trojan fucking horse, bitch. <laughs> I guess they picked the right hole for the job. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> So a couple of final questions for you guys. Uh, so is there plans for y'all to be in a central location together? Baby, can we just tell the truth about us and just put all this to bed? Sure. You go first. We're in a relationship. Re rocking. Since everybody wanna know. Since um so um not what what she say, um openly affectionate. <laughs> you know. So the for the person that asked that, you know what I'm saying, question. So if you was lactose intolerant and nobody knew, would I tell you to go buy ice cream or drink a bottle of milk just so everybody can See you lactose intolerant. Mm. You got a good point with that. You got a good point. I he mean, makes good points. I mean, I don't have to. Show, I, I mean, my business is my business. I'm not. I'm, I'm not worried about nobody else but me and Jack. That's it. Motherfuckers don't like it. Oh well. Like I said, shit. Kiss my motherfucking ass. So what? Mm -hmm. Let this. Let this woman be happy, man. Well. Right. You kind of got a, a plan for that, don't you, baby? Yep. Well, let me say this. 
And hopefully this isn't going to create an argument in our relationship later tonight. What did we do while we were together in Chicago? What did we do? Mm -hmm. We did a few things, but there was one thing that we did that I really loved. What's that? Look the houses. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we did. We found the uh realtor uh in Vegas that's um uh, on Instagram. Dope houses, I might add. Real dope houses. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we was looking at houses, true enough. That's dope. But but I'm broke though. I'm a bum. <laughs> right. right. But bums don't life look life at life. houses, you know. Oh. At all. And Oh, but you know, I let you know, I let motherfuckers do their big one too, make it seem like they really know what they talking about. Dang. And as far as pregnancy is concerned, Thank you when there's me. when when there is time, when when it's time to make an announcement, whatever and whenever that is, we will do it in our own time. Nobody has to know. Do we have unprotected sex? Yes, we're in a committed relationship. We're monogamous. Um, and I'm definitely not burning. <laughs> and I definitely, and I definitely you got You know the season yeah, you know. Yeah, right. Because it's totally quiet. Totally we, we, we good over here. <laughs> Stop the lies. We good over here. I ain't shit burning. I don't stink. I, I don't have a uh, rug burns the size of shag carpets between my thighs. I mean, baby, could you? Right. The crazy stuff they be thinking about. And so that was a troll last night on Denod's channel that made an announcement. Yeah. That wasn't me. Mm -hmm. we, was, we was on the phone. And it's so funny because I switched my avatar on purpose and they're still using the old <laughs> they're one. Still, they still <laughs> use it. Exactly. They're not even they're not even thorough. Um but yeah, I during that argument we said something, we said some things. You know, I I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You're it for me. And because of that, we um we're gonna be doing things a little different this year. And I'm gonna let the boss tell you how that works. Just in case y'all didn't know who the boss is, it's Mr. Henderson. Mm -hmm. So he's the head of us. So the announcement is, from this day forward, Ayasha is the head mod. Shout out to Ayasha. Yeah, shout out to Ayasha. So anything... All the real shit is going anyway, and that's where our future is vested. Right. And now you can focus back on the industry and not these YouTubers. Well, I, I, I achieved what I needed to achieve. I got the evidence that I needed to get. I turned my life into bait so that the evidence of wrongdoing could not be denied. Because regardless of what people say in their commentary, in the court of law, the only thing that you'll get is the footage. Your commentary will not be included. All of those nasty things that you say about me will not be included opinion the fact of law is what's in that footage of all of the many abuses and horrible things that have been done to me the gaslighting the stalking all of that and guess what i don't care if you're the beam team i don't care if you're tasha k and the winos i don't care if you're a very checkable bitch talk about uncheckable check up on invisalign check up on invisalign um 
you know, it, it's it's wild to me. But none of you people are going to get away with this. And what's sad is, is the reason why you thought you were going to get away with it is because you thought that you were going to annoy me into silence or fucking just run this shit round the clock until nobody believed anything at all. All of you have conflicting stories. Nobody knows what to believe. I came here to offer people the truth and to offer them a choice. And now thanks to me and my old man and everything that we've been working on, very shortly, all of these YouTube subscribers will be able to come right back to Philadelphia. That's and so get unadulterated. Listen to me, it was the best, it was the best Christmas gift I got. My man telling me, we're going to do this. We're going to open this back up. I'm going to stand by you. We're going to get this done. And while he was busy trying to help bring back my fluidity to my financial 